Hey guys, in this video today, I am going to show you the look created for Jacqueline Fernandez in the song Me Pani Pani Ho Gai. So follow along. Before we begin, I want to welcome all of you to Makeup Simplified and thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing to my channel. So I took some screenshots and I was looking at the look that was created and I felt like it is such a simple but cute look. I will show you step by step how to create this look. I'm going to be applying the primer next. I like my primer just sit on my skin for a while. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna do my eye makeup. So for the serum, I'm using the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I like this primer because it's so lightweight for the makeup to go on, but it's more like extra layer of skincare really. This helps to create a glowy base and just work it onto the areas that tend to get dry. All right, now for the eye makeup. For the base, I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I'm gonna apply a good amount on my eyelids. And dab it off with my fingertips. So for the eyes, I'm using the ColourPop Nude Mood Palette. So I noticed that she has mostly used nude colors on the eyelids for this look. So I'm gonna go in with that. I'm using the shade Bare to Wear. Use very, very light pressure. And I'm gonna define the crease with this, so take a look. A nice fluffy brush works really great to define the crease. And every time you go from the crease and then start like buffing it outwards or upwards. This is an essential step to get a really diffused eyeshadow margin. And I'm just using one color for the crease. So as you can see near the crease, it starts to look darker and then you buff it upwards so it becomes lighter over there. That's why you only start at the crease like here and then go up. So basically, essentially you are packing color onto the crease and then buffing it and diffusing it upwards. And if you feel that your eyeshadows have a lot of fallout, you could actually use these uh, eyeshadow shields. I'll show you these eyeshadow shields you can get on Amazon and they don't just help with like the fallout but it also helps to create like that appropriate uh, shape that you might want like you know if you want some kind of a direction to how you want it to go so you can put it and then it's easy to take off. It's going to catch any eyeshadow fallout and also protect your base from getting damaged. Next I'm gonna go with the shade all natural the shade and I'm gonna deepen the crease I'm using a smaller blending brush to deepen the crease now because I want to target only into the crease area and the shade is a little darker shade of brown I'm gonna create a little bit of a smoky look. I'm using this eyeshadow stick by K-Beauty. It's in the shade Desire. So I'm gonna apply it right near my lashes over here, and then I'm gonna smudge it. That's the blackest black eyeshadow. I'm gonna be smudging it all. These eyeshadow sticks are so blendable and so like creamy. I love their consistency. Like that must be one of good products by K Beauty. Use a stiff smudging brush to blend this dark black eyeshadow because it's a creamy eyeshadow. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Mugged Off on top of it. For this you can use just a small blending brush and because we're just trying to diffuse this brown eyeshadow along with the black. And then you can use any black eyeshadow you have on top of this. I'm using the MAC Eyeshadow Cosmetics uh, Single Pants in the shade Carbon Black. They have great variety of singles which sometimes I will buy instead of buying the entire palette. You should go back and forth between the brown shade and the black shade to kind of create that nice transition. This is how it will be. I'm gonna clean up a little bit on the edges a little more. I like to use these Q-tips, the pointy ones, to kind of clean up any makeup mishaps. I will link these ones for you also in the description box below. So we'll do the other eye really quickly and we'll move on to the rest of the eye makeup. 
Typically I like to go back and forth between the two eyes just to kind of make everything look equal or symmetrical and then you know it gives you a sense of how the whole look is going to turn up also. And then again the same thing I'm going to clean up the edge a little bit. Moving on to the next I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes and also under my brows. For that I could be using the shade Bluffing. Next is going to be the mascara. For the mascara today, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara. Wow. Wow, I think I like it. This like added instant volume. Wow, girl. So now that I have the mascara on, I'm gonna go with the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil. This is the black shade, it's called Zero. I'll be using this to tight line my eyes. I'm going over my upper waterline as well as the lower waterline. And I'm also going to apply the same on the lower waterline. We are going to do my eyebrows. That's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Pencil in dark brown. The angle tip helps to create fine strokes and definitely the soft brown or the dark brown is the correct color for me. If I go black, then it looks too dark. I don't do much with my eyebrows. I just fill in any sparse areas and just help to define it slightly. For setting up my eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. All right, so back to the face. I'm gonna start off with my color corrector. It's my all-time favorite color corrector by Lip Tinted. It's in the shade Rice. This color corrector is perfect for Indian skin tone and it's very, very blendable. I'm excited to see the sunscreen by Lip Tinted that's coming in August. You know, it's meant for melanated skin, so hopefully it's really good. No white cast, it says. And then again, wherever you have pigmentation or some kind of... So I'm going to try some here also. I'm also going around my mouth because I want to just make the whole face the same color, like equal color. Of course, natural shadows are created, but sometimes you may have a little too much of ashy gray areas on your skin and color correctors work wonderfully for those. See how it blends beautifully on the skin. Some of it over here as well. For the concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier. It's the shade 3W. And first I'm gonna apply it around my mouth. This we are going to buff with a buffing brush with a foundation buffing brush. You could also use a beauty blender for this. I just didn't get the time to go buy some new ones, which imagine that. But yeah, I couldn't get it. And then I'm gonna do some spot correction right here. For spot correction, use very, very little amount of concealer. You don't want to cake it up. And now I'm going to go under my eyes as well. For the eyes, so because it's a narrow area, I'm using a different kind of concealer brush. So this is the one by Zoeva in number 146. Yeah, I like it. Stiff concealer brush and it is perfect for dabbing the concealer under your eyes. And also here, because it's a narrow portion, so it's easy to work with. I really like this brush. Here. And then in between my brows, wow, this brush is epic because it's making my life a lot easier. For the foundation, I'm going with the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever newly launched foundation. So as always, I'm going to pump some on my hand to warm it up, just like this, right all over your face. My shade is 33N. This foundation is $20 and it's really amazing. Like, it's super blendable. It's a medium coverage liquid foundation. Like, look at that. And this is like the perfect shade for me. You can find your perfect shade because there are 50 different shades. It looks flawless. Like, look at this foundation, oh my God. So I'm going to set it up with some loose powder. For under my eyes, I am using this Bare Minerals setting powder. Use it sparingly and go over the areas that tend to crease a lot. 
Do we want to go ahead and just finish the rest of my eye makeup then? I could do that. Let's do that. Till then, this will give my foundation some time to set. So under my eyes, I'm using the same black shade. You can use any black eyeshadow. This one is by MAC Cosmetics. I Start going from the outer corner inwards so the outer corner is much more thicker and defined. And with the brown shade, I am going to smudge it. And same thing on the other side. Okay, and we're gonna apply some mascara on the bottom lashes now. So for the contouring, I'm using the Huda Beauty Tontour in medium. I also like the brush, the Face Sculpt and Shade brush by Huda Beauty for contouring purpose. It is the perfect brush. Again, this Huda Beauty Tontour works really well onto your skin because it's very blendable. It is soft and it doesn't leave any harsh margins. Of course, you have to spend a good amount of time to blend it as well. I'm also applying it under my jaw to give me a defined jawline. She has five different colors for the Tontour and they all have cool undertones because to create shadows, you always have to pick a color with cool undertones. And now I'm gonna go in with the Sephora bronzer. It's the shade Santorini. Just a tiny bit of bronzer on top of the contour, okay? I'm using the Say Beauty blush in shade Rosy. Just a tad bit, okay? This has been my favorite liquid blush lately and it goes so well on brown or olive skin tones. It doesn't look overly pink on your skin. And go with a very light hand because you have, this is very creamy, and you don't want to move the underlying makeup. So this just adds a little bit of flush to the skin. And finally, we have some highlighter, and we have the Benefit Cosmetics Cookie Highlighter, which is one of my favorite highlighters for Indian skin tone. So I'm gonna go in on the inner corner of my eyes with it. And just on my tear duct a bit. And I already have some highlighter on my cheekbones as well. And also on the brow bone. A few of the final steps that we're gonna finish off the makeup and then we're gonna go to our final look. And that's the Huda Beauty Lip Liner. It's a lip contour lip liner. It's the shade Warm Brown. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade for like a nude lip. You can use it all by itself as a lipstick too. The lipstick we are using today is this Morph lipstick in shade Peanut. This is a creamy formula in very terracotta shade or they call it spicy sienna shade. It's a little darker than what most nude you know, lipsticks could be but it suits perfectly on Indian skin. Just doing a little bit of face tattoo, of course I'm faking it using an eyeliner and you know it's very commonly seen in India, especially the bindi. All right, time for the final look, guys. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel, Makeup Simplified, and press the bell icon so you get notified of all the videos that I'm posting. Do find me on Instagram for sure. It's make.up.simplified. I love posting content over there as well as I love getting all your messages and discussing all makeup and skincare related questions over there. Comment below how you like this video and if you have any other looks you want me to recreate, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Last but I call it Baregia, Satile on does it Baregia, under the feeling Seladegia, eh? Hat Dogay, Hatsayak, everybody, Gia, 